this, this is the copy. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> okay. Hi, the High Tech Nomad here, and this is the Elite X3 lap dock, and it allows you to use your S9, S9 Plus, Note 9, S10, S10e, S10 Plus, S10 5G, and it turns it into a laptop. Wait, what? Welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you want to learn how to make technology work for you, start now by subscribing and be sure to click the bell icon so you don't miss a thing. All right, I've been waiting to do this video for quite some time. How much time? Probably about nine years. Uh, I originally first saw lap docks back in 2011 with the Asus pad. This is a lap dock, not a laptop, and I'll give you my oversimplified answer, which is this is a screen and a keyboard, and that's it, and a battery, and that's it. There are, there's no CPU, there's no memory, there's nothing in here, and it's going to get all of its intelligence from our smartphone, in this case, my Samsung Galaxy Note 9. This idea of using your phone as the central part of your computing life is not an original idea that didn't just start with Dex. Actually, Windows was doing it quite some time ago, and they had come out with a Windows phone in conjunction with HP, the Elite X3, and that was the center of their uh, offering, and as you can see, it has both a dock, very similar to the Dex dock, and this lap dock. So this is the X3. So here we have uh, our power, USB-C power, a USB-C input, which we're gonna use for a mouse. We have a little battery indicator, because again, it doesn't have anything in it. And we have a headphone jack, we have an on-off switch, we have our data in, and then we have a micro HDMI out. When we open this up, and within a few seconds, you'll see that we get the HP logo, and then it comes up and gives us our choice. So it, it, the two choices that we have are to connect to it. So all I have to do is come into my phone, go into settings, find my smart view setting, go ahead and turn that on, and it'll show all the devices I have, including the, the X3 lap dock. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. And then after a second, bada boom, bada bing, bitty boop, it's gonna go ahead and give us the screen, okay? So it's gonna go ahead and mirror whatever we're doing here. Well, I'm gonna use that for when I'm watching Netflix on a plane, if I wanna watch it on the big screen, I'll take my phone out, I'll start playing Netflix, put my phone in my pocket, I'll put it down, and I can continue watching that. The other neat thing I use it for is when it's in this mode, even though it's wireless, if I go into camera, I'm actually able to see everything that the camera sees, okay? So I'm able to use this as a wireless monitor. USB-C cables are not all the same, so you wanna make sure that you get a good USB-C cable. I'll put a link up above. You wanna make sure that you get yourself a nice cable. So we're gonna go ahead and take that. And again, that's the reason for wanting to have a really good cable. So there we are. The resolution is, is fine. It's it's the H, uh, full HD, so we're all set with that. Trackpad. So the trackpad works with the exception of the two buttons, the left and right button in the corners. They Those do not work. And I did some research and found out that when this was a Windows device at the height of its uh, being shown, uh, those buttons didn't work then either. So I'm, I'm not upset with that. So again, you can use your trackpad and you can double tap to open something, but you can't actually push the button to do that. Again, not a big deal. I have hands like oven mitts, so I almost always prefer to use a mouse. So I have here the Vic Sing mouse, which I just did a review on, but it's a good solid mouse for $11, and it's a good one to have in your your laptop, lap dock bag like this, because of the fact that you don't ever have to worry about, you know, are the batteries dead? And I, I gotta tell you, after like five minutes, I forgot I was using my phone, I thought I was using my Chromebook. Keys across the top work with it, so turning on, it is a backlit keyboard, I don't know if you can see that, but it's a backlit keyboard, it's really, really nice, has a really nice feel to it. We have our media keys for volume, we have our media keys for back, forth, next, that sort of thing, all of that works fine. So what are the advantages of this laptop 
over buying a Chromebook? Well, the first thing is, is that I now can edit, I can capture and edit and publish all from the same device. So the next thing is, is that it's usable by anybody with these phones. So, so when I'm traveling now, I'm carrying, I'm going to carry just this. And if my wife needs to use a laptop for a few minutes, so instead of us carrying two laptops, she can just plug her phone in, do her stuff. She's all done, close it up and go from there. I can have a bunch of windows open. I unplug this. I take my phone, I plug it into my deck stock. What you're going to see is it's going to pick right back up where I left off. So I started creating this video on Friday and it's now Monday and I have used this thing all weekend long. They only made one of these units, but you can't tell that by searching the internet because I've seen some people selling them for $700 and some people selling them for $150, but it's the same unit. If you're a subscriber, then you probably got my message when I found a whole bunch of them at $150. So you, if you're not a subscriber, that's another reason to become a subscriber. When I find these things, I let everybody know right away. If you want to find out more about Samsung Dex, you can check out my other videos. If you were sold and you want to go ahead and grab one of these, you can check out the link below. I think I, I, I keep updating that to find the lowest price. And until the next time, this is the High Tech Nomad signing out.